congratulations. Thanks very much. You have a nomination tonight. I do. How are you feeling? All right, yes. Uh, for, for an adventure in space and time, which feels like a lifetime ago already. So, yeah. Yes, I'm delighted to be nominated. Boiling hot again. Seems to be a tradition now at BAFTA. Well, I feel like I'm interviewing you. Can I just say, it only happens every now. Obviously, it only happens when you're here. That the yes. Because last year, it was flipping freezing and rainy. Well, I hope I brought the weather with me. So maybe the weather is a good sign for you then. Maybe, or maybe it's not a bad omen. Who yeah. knows? Uh, you are so busy. I mean, obviously, you're nominated here tonight, but also you've got Sherlock. Is that coming back again soon? Yes, yes. Uh, we are... I can officially tell you, we are moving closer to sorting out some dates wow. for filming it. That's 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 the good news. That's the official line. <laughs> that's is the it? official line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you just basically have to wait until you, uh, Martin, and uh, Benedict, um, Benedict and, Stephen, are, and you're and all everyone. free because yeah. it's a nightmare getting you all together. Yes. Yeah. Increasingly difficult. The obviously. busiest men yeah. in television, I think. Yeah. Well, they're you know, and films. I mean, Benedict and Martin are uh, huge film stars now, so it's uh, everyone is very keen to carry on, but it's. Uh, it is difficult, yeah. and uh, everything seems to sort of overlap at the wrong time, you know. Yeah. But we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, an adventure space in, my, in time. Sorry, tell, tell me about that. How it all kind of started in the first place? Well, it was a it was a project I wanted to do for about 13 years. I'm I'm always been a Doctor Who fan, uh, and the story of how it was created was a sort of was something I'd kind of grown up with, and I always thought it would just be a wonderful film, really. And then it all came together for the 50th anniversary, and. Uh, Really, it was a dream project in every respect. David Bradley, who's nominated for Broadchurch tonight, it was absolutely amazing, I think. And I've, I've been totally overwhelmed by the response to it, not just from Doctor Who fans, but people who kind of really got it on a very human level as the story of a, a man who kind of got the, the best part in the world and then had to give it away because of, because of his illness. So uh, it was, it's, the whole thing's been very moving and uh, really pleasing from the yeah. beginning. It was really nice and refreshing, actually, to see a different approach to Doctor Who. Always. Yes, yeah. It was, it was yeah. lovely, and to hear the story of it as well. And to get some old monsters in. Well, but it was also, you know, it was like basically like doing a, a play, really. It was like a TV play, and, and there just aren't very many of them around anymore. So it's great to do it and to get a nomination is delightful. Absolutely. Oh, well, look, good luck this evening. Thank you very much. Uh, we may be seeing you later then. Maybe. Maybe see you if later. If I lose, it'll find me over there. Okay, well, the we gutter. might see you crawling later <laughs> if that's the yes. case.